Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. at uh, Tiger Swamis headquarters. We got about an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes of uh, game planning, kickboxing drills. Then later after that, we got PT at 1 p.m. So I got into MMA back when I was in like eighth grade, just watching it on TV. I, I stumbled across a UFC Unleashed episode, which was like a bunch of highlights of uh, all the different fights. And I saw Matt Hughes slam Carlos Newton. I must have told the story a million times. And uh, I, he won the world title after that. And I was like, well, you can slam people on their head and win championships, belts. With, and I was a huge WWE fan back in the day. So I was like, this is like that, but real? I was like, this is wild. So instantly, love at first sight moment. That's when I became hooked. And then fast forward, uh, maybe two years later, I started training. So it's been a long journey. I'm 32 years old. I had my first fight when I was 18 years old in high school still. Um, it's, it's, it, it's come full circle. Like I, this sport isn't known for uh, being the highest paying sport when you, come, when you compare it to NFL or NBA or, or sports like that. So like, I, I really came from like nothing. I came from like the bottom. I wasn't making any money. You basically paid to fight back in the day, especially as an amateur, you don't get paid. Uh, even my first couple pro fights, I had a, you make a couple thousand bucks here or there. I remember my first pro fight actually made thousand dollars and in my head I was like oh my god I made it I'm rich now like fast forward like seeing everything that I've been able to accomplish and uh, the life I've been able to, to give myself and my family through my hard work and through my hands fr from my fighting it's it's funny how, how it's come full circle for me. is he just throwing one two or can he mix it up but I'm saying can he throw one 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 okay yeah, so we have a state-of-the-art facility, which we uh, take for granted a little bit, I think, at times, because like it's, I've been with, those, with this gym forever. Another huge part of it is not just the actual training facility, but it's, it's the room. It's the, the, the bodies that I have, the teammates. i got a bunch of teammates. I, I, can't even, I don't want to start naming them because I might lease them out, but uh, a bunch of teammates, guys that have been in the UFC, that are still in the UFC, guys that have fought all over the world. Yeah, I, I pride myself in my team. Yeah, I love, I love that drill. I want to keep drilling like that. Just he punched like go. He punched like go. He punched like go. He punched like go. Yep. Lock it, jump it. Go, go, go. Give me that one. Amateur right sparring day is fun. So what, what, I, what I think it takes to be a fighter is uh, the mental fortitude, uh, mental toughness. Uh, nobody realizes how, like you see it on TV, you think it's just physical. This, this game is so mental. You, you don't realize it until you're in it and you're seasoned in it, how mental it really is. So Monday's the pro spar, Tuesday's the amateur spar. We get to watch a little bit, so it's fun stuff. Stay, Jeremy, stay there, Jeremy. Body, body. You gotta, you gotta answer that. Answer that, Zach. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, you're good. Nice round. Nice. Good shit. That's how you get better right there. That was great fucking work. You're not gonna, your first fight, you're not gonna fight anybody as good as him, right? You're fighting high level motherfuckers. And you're in a room with high level motherfuckers. You're a high level motherfucker, right? So use that to level up. Don't, don't sit here and feel bad for yourself. This, it is. Get better. this sport has the highest highs, the absolute highest highs. The best feeling in the world is when you get your hand raised, you win a fight after spending weeks of blood, sweat, and tears, grueling training in the gym. Like when you guys are watching, you see only a blip. You see 15 minutes of a fight. You don't see the, everything that we put into it. So when you get your hand raised and all that pays off, it means the absolute world. There's no higher high. Yeah, so I'm here two or three times a week, every week, whether I have injuries or not, just to fine tune the body and keep me feeling as fresh as possible going into training. Obviously, this sport is physically grueling and demanding. So my man Brian keeps me uh, feeling good. Yeah, so me in the cage and me outside the cage, two different people. And I, like you see, a lot of fighters say, you flip the, you flip the switch when you get in there, and it, it might sound cliche, but it really is so true. Because when I'm in there, it's, it's kill or be killed. That's my mentality. Um, outside the cage, I'm a father. I have three daughters. I have a wife. So me in the cage and me out of the cage are two completely different people. Yes, you're going to be here, Zercher. Okay, it's going to be a lunge, really controlled, really aggressive knee drive, stick it at the top. So my first PFL fight, I came up short, like I said, the highest highs, but also the lowest lows. Uh, it came up short. It felt more like a, a bad sparring session than a fight. I didn't really take any damage. He just did a good job at nullifying and controlling the, the, the fight and getting positions to, to be able to hold me and, and stall me out a little bit. And so what I took from it, just, just be more urgent, get more reckless. I, I'm known as being pretty reckless. Reckless, but in that fight, I didn't get reckless until the very end of the fight, which ended up costing me. Mindset is uh, fully focused on the playoffs. I, I wasn't supposed to be in this position. I got I got into this position from a series of uh, unfortunate circumstances from uh, some other fighters that, that ended up getting pulled out, and it put me into this position now. I won my last fight, which put me in a good spot. <laughs> Managing family time is one of the hardest things when you're in training camp, because obviously in training camp, it's just focused on the goal. 
but I can't be completely focused when I get home. You know I mean, because I have three daughters, I have a wife that I have to give that time to. So having the weekends off, uh, it makes it a little bit easier where I can focus some time on them. But it's it's grueling. Like I said, it's mentally and physically grueling. So uh, once I'm done with the fight, it's the first thing I like to do is usually take my family on vacation. The way the season format is, is a little bit harder because I don't have as much time. But after this one, I fully plan on bringing them somewhere nice.